Today we're going to be looking at a very unique spider. Now it's not a rare spider, but it is quite unique. And that is a crab spider. Now these guys are unique in the way that when you first see them, you'll see them walking sideways or backwards, which most spiders don't do that. And so that's kind of what gives them the name of the crab spider. They also have a very crab appearance, having their two long legs on each side stretched out in a pincer-like formation. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's get it under the microscope and take a look at this guy. We are now under the microscope, and I have to say this guy, for a crab spider, he's quite small. Now normally they're going to be a much bigger but it's good for us because we get to have a good look at this guy. So right away we see these, or this massive front leg. And on these guys you have the two front legs are real big and then the back one's kind of smaller. And that's what gives them their crab appearance and allows them to walk in such unique ways. Those two massive front legs and then the two small ones behind it. And I want to look at those hooks on the end. Almost all spiders have these hooks, and these guys particular use these for grabbing onto their prey. Their two front legs are used to grip their prey and just take it down. Very much like pincers on crabs. And we have very big front legs. Oh, there he goes. Now, a lot of people wonder how I get these guys to hold still. And for them, for many insects or bugs or animals or whatever we look at, they often actually will hold still on their own. I often don't include the footage where they're running around because it would make the video really long. For the most part, I just get the good shots where they're just holding still for me and they do good and many times they often do. Sometimes I do have to restrain them, but I don't, I don't unalive them when I do that. Now often we can see on the legs blood flow going through them. Let's see if we can see it here. Yep, there it is. You can see it. Point it out right here. Hopefully you guys can see that, but I always find that fascinating that you can see the flow of blood or fluids going through their legs. Now let's see if we can get a good shot of this guy's back. Okay, so I think we've gotten a pretty good back shot. Let's look at that face and get the good view of those eyes. It's so interesting on the eyes of spiders. They're always different depending or vary between the different species. And here we got, got the eight eyes. One, two, three, four, four on the top, four on the bottom. And on this guy, all the eyes are to the front of the face. On the, a lot different than the jumping spider where you had eyes on the side of the head. Very fascinating. Anyway, I want to flip this guy over and let's take a good look at his underside. But before we do that, let's see if we can see a heartbeat on the back. I'm going to adjust the light and see if we can see it. All right, so we're at the back end here and we can slightly see that heartbeat here. Right here, there you go. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this guy over and let's see that underside. All right, so here's our underside of our spider. You can see where all those legs are attached. 
Now, I'm going to take this time to say thank you for watching. My channel is slowly growing, and thank you guys so much. Just pointing out some things here. And so, as I was saying, thank you so much. And if you like my content, please subscribe and comment below what you'd like to see under the microscope. And I'm going to just let you guys watch the rest of this video. We're going to look at the back end real quick, and then that will be it. Thanks for watching.